How are fractions related to division? In this video, you will learn how to write a fraction as a division expression and how to write a division expression as a fraction. Let's start with a very simple problem. Four students shared one dessert. How much dessert did each student get? A division equation that represents this problem is 1 divided by 4 equals x. We can use fraction sense and a model to see that when one object is broken into four parts, each part is one-fourth. So, each student gets one-fourth of the dessert. And 1 divided by 4 equals one-fourth. Notice the numbers in the equation. 1 is both the dividend and the quotient's numerator. 4 is both the divisor and the quotient's denominator. The fraction bar takes the place of the division sign and means divide. So, writing 1 divided by 4 is the same as writing 1 fourth. Both 1 divided by 4 and 1 fourth can be read as 1 divided by 4 and can represent this word problem. Look at another example. This time, the same four students are sharing three desserts equally. How much dessert does each student get? A division equation that represents this problem is 3 divided by 4 equals x. Each dessert will be shared four ways. When we pass out the fourths, we see that each student gets three pieces, or three-fourths, of a dessert. So, three divided by four equals three-fourths. Notice the numbers in this equation. Again, three is both the dividend and the quotient's numerator. Four is both the divisor and the quotient's denominator. Fraction bar takes the place of the division sign and means divide. So, writing 3 divided by 4 is the same as writing 3 fourths. Both 3 divided by 4 and 3 fourths can be read as 3 divided by 4 and can represent this word problem. Finally, look at an example with a fraction greater than 1. 11 tomato slices are being shared equally among 3 pizzas. How many slices will go on each pizza? A division equation that represents this problem is 11 divided by 3 equals x. Each pizza can have 3 whole slices but there are two slices left over. If the two slices are divided among the three pizzas, each pizza will get two-thirds of a slice. So each pizza has three and two-thirds slices in all. 11 divided by three equals three and two-thirds. Write three and two-thirds as a fraction greater than one. Three and two-thirds equals three-thirds plus three-thirds plus three-thirds plus two-thirds, which is eleven-thirds. So, eleven divided by three equals eleven-thirds. If all the slices on the pizza were cut into thirds, there would be eleven-thirds tomato slices on each pizza. Notice the numbers in the equation. Eleven is both the dividend and the quotient's numerator. Three is both the divisor and the quotient's denominator. The fraction bar takes the place of the division sign and means divide. So, writing 11 divided by 3 is the same as writing 11 thirds. Both 11 divided by 3 and 11 thirds can be read as 11 divided by 3 and can represent this word problem. In this video, you have seen how fractions and division are related. All fractions are division problems where the numerator is divided by the denominator.